your news at 6. A statewide campaign is underway that could have a negative impact and effect on Louisiana's health system and the state's pandemic response. NBC 10's Maya Hudgens talked with the St. Francis Medical Center president on why you should understand the effects of this petition before it's too late. It's just really irresponsible for our legislative body to even consider lifting it while we're in a spike again. A campaign was started in the House of Representatives that is pressuring legislators to sign a petition to revoke Governor John Bell Edwards' emergency health declaration for COVID-19. However, St. Francis medical officials say this could have a devastating impact on the state's health system and pandemic response. And so as a health care leader, it was really very upsetting because that emergency declaration really does allow us to participate in the state of Louisiana in assistance from the federal government. If the declaration is lifted, St. Francis Medical Center and other hospitals would have limited access to new treatments, drugs, ventilators, COVID testing supplies, and even protective equipment. The state of Louisiana would be the only state in the entire country that would not have an emergency declaration. So all of those resources that are being made available nationwide would not be available in Louisiana. St. Francis President Kristen Walkart says this campaign comes after Governor Edwards' mask mandate. While she believes people can fight for their rights, she also says this is not the right thing to be protesting. If you were to walk the halls of our critical care unit and see those patients, that do not do well with this disease. It, it really would scare you and you would think wearing a little mask to protect someone you love, uh, it's a small thing to ask. Taking a stand for our health workers is important and not lifting this declaration could save hundreds of people in our community. Because you never know when it's gonna be you or someone you love that needs the help from health care. In Monroe, Maya Hudgens, NBC 10, your local news leader. This declaration would not just affect local hospitals, but also would not allow the LDH to have authority to decontaminate facilities like nursing homes. The no-cost sharing requirement with private insurers, individuals will be lost. St. Francis officials are asking you to call our state legislators and ask them not to sign that petition.